My friends, hello. We are returning to one of my greatest fears, megalophobia. Fear of really big things. If you saw the last time we did megalophobia, it didn't go well for me. It did not go well. I freaked out. I've been putting this video off because I freaked out last time. So I'm not looking forward to this one getting any better, but we're gonna start light and we'll pick it up as we go, okay? It's gonna get crazier and crazier as we go. So buckle up, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to I Am A Wimp. Are you ready? Theme song. What do you do when you're easily scooped and everything is scary? Torch yourself with clips from YouTube or call your best friend Gary. So grab some popcorn and just enjoy the ride because Robert Ike's a wimp. I'm not sure we comprehend how big clouds are. Okay. Is this dude gonna go through the cloud or just next to the cloud? So clouds are literally miles above us. So yeah, we really have no concept of how big they are. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Is that not dangerous? Is it not dangerous to go near a cloud like that? Can't they like beat you up pretty hard? If you fall through a cloud, do you get like covered in rain? These are questions not for you. Be uh, well, actually, actually, these are questions for you. Leave a comment if you know the answer. Realize this has two of my phobias and one TikTok. Sub mechanophobia. Oh no. It only took about four hours of paddling and now we're here. This is just amazing. I've never been anywhere like this before. I'm scared. Don't go underwater. Whoa. It's just absolutely huge that is really big see something in the water do you guys see that, that nope. Thing down nope. nope 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 don't go this really would be the worst place to get a puncture so i'm trying to be careful but i just wanted to show you the scale of this thing i mean okay is he gonna is go underwater and and look at how big this thing is it's absolutely huge it is huge i thought he was gonna go underwater if he went underwater that would have freaked me out he didn't go underwater like i said guys we're starting out light that didn't really do anything to me if i was there maybe it'd be a little spooky i cannot underestimate the sense of dread that this sky cruise concept video installs in me terrifying you mean instills you goofball no music okay Wow. Sky Cruise. What is this? This isn't real, is it? A nuclear powered hotel suspended above the clouds. Okay, this is not real. This futuristic sky hotel gives you the ultimate travel experience. That is insane. It's big enough to accommodate over 5,000 guests. Its sleek design combines the features of a commercial plane while offering the epitome of luxury. We can get this with audio. Where's the audio? Introducing Sky Cruise, a nuclear powered hotel suspended. Yeah, why couldn't we have it with. Audio. Sky Cruise features a big hall that offers a 360. That's like the CN Tower. Does it spin? Here, Whoa. you get to enjoy the most Have you guys seen the CN Tower in Toronto? You can go up there and it spins slowly. An elevator connects the panoramic hall to the main entertainment. Whoa, well, this is Titanic 2 waiting to, to happen, people. This locations. is the next Titanic movie the waiting main to happen. The entertainment deck is perfect for recreational activities. Recreational activity, it that's scary. Malls, sports centers, shopping malls, pools, plural? Restaurants. I don't know about that. Bars, playgrounds for children. These are just these are just other videos that you made that are not like shown if this doesn't have like a ground map it's cat it does not look like there's enough room for any of that and if you want to declare your love above the clouds sky cruises wedding halls give Whoa, you your partner, that's funny along with your guests Okay, but this all just looks like openness and then guest rooms and then where's the room for the theater, dude? The theater and the bars and all that stuff? This is not a proper scale. This scaling does not make sense to me. All right, that was interesting. That was okay. That didn't do too much for me, honest. That's spooky. Tried to take a photo of, of a grasshopper on my windshield, but it looks like it's giant and destroying the town. Yeah. That is spooky. I don't like that. I don't like that. Me as a kid would hate that. I would really not like that picture. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's not that bad. Everything in this image that doesn't have spikes coming off of it is a galaxy. Every single dot. Yeah, this is a pretty recent picture, isn't it? Galaxies. That is absolutely 
unbelievable. We are not going, guys, In I'm saying this right now. In every single megalophobia video we ever do, we will never look at something as big as what we are looking at right now. Actually, not just every megalophobia video, every video on my channel that ever, 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 ever happens, this is the largest thing that we are ever going to look at. These are all galaxies. Listen, our whole solar system, that's not even a galaxy. There's a bunch of other solar systems and stuff in our galaxy. A whole bunch of other stuff. I really don't want to comprehend this right now. I really don't want to. That's the largest thing we're ever going to look at. Oil rig platform being towed into the sea. The platform itself is dwarfing the luxurious hotel on the left. Wow. Wow. This is a luxurious hotel. This is not even a small boat right here. This is not even a small boat. You'd have to kind of run from one end to the other. This is insanely big. Ugh. Oil is bad. Can we stick with electricity, please? Robert, that's a very ignorant comment. Dorsa, don't you know that? oil, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, people. I don't know. All I know is giant oil things scare me. I don't like it. A truly astounding image. A street in Macau with the Grand Lisboa Casino looming in the background. Okay, this is definitely one of those images where it's taken from far away and they zoomed in and it makes the background look way bigger than, than we think. We've looked at these before. Though this is Nat Geo, so it is probably pretty good. Grand Lisboa Casino. I think this is deceiving. This is a pretty big building, but see, look, next to other buildings, it's like, it's definitely big, but it's not some insanely catastrophic thing like this is, you know? This was taken from far away. Celestial summons Cersei. What the heck is that? Ah! Ah! Okay, we have our first gigantic monster. Ah. Okay, hello, sir. Hello, sir. You can put me down. You can go away, actually. Why are you holding the camera? Okay, if they jump at us really quickly, if they jump scare us, then it's impossible and it's no longer scary. Okay, okay, good. If that giant thing just suddenly was like, oh, then it would defy the laws of physics. I wouldn't be down. I'd be like, shame on you. Cheap jump scare, but we're okay. Ships out of water always get me, even when things go right. <laughs> Whoa, it is huge. It is huge. Oh my gosh, and this giant beam could just take your head off. Wow, do not get caught under that thing. Oh, that is really big. That is really big. Cool. That's fun. Boats are big. Whale swallows two kayakers, then spits them out. Wow! Are we about to go zero to 100 real quick, people? No! What? No. What? Everyone's like, I'm getting back into the shore! Spit him out. No way! I want to see them get spat back out, come on! I need to make sure that happened. There's a concerning lack of spits them out part. The whale was tracked down for comment afterward, and he maintains that he did in fact spit them out. Don't worry. Baleen whales can't swallow anything larger than a gra grapefruit anyways. Okay, okay, they're good, they're good. Wait, what? Why was everyone filming? Why did literally everyone have their phone out? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! That was it! That was it! Wow, that went zero to 10,000 real quick. I hated that. A one million seater stadium concept made and designed by American artist Paul Pfeiffer. Um, why the heck are these people so close together and easy to see if this seats one million people? I'm so confused here. Oh, oh, these are people looking at a model. Okay, okay, I was so, con I was so confused. I was like, that makes absolutely no sense. Okay, yeah, I guess a million people could fit in here. Why would you want that? To see, to see like, you the, 
the the soccer ball, the football is gonna be like literally un. You cannot see it from up there. You literally cannot see it. But you know what would be really crazy is just hearing the cheers go from all the way down here to up there. It would literally take like three seconds for you to hear someone cheering down here if you're up here. Now that's crazy. And guys, as usual, if this video one day gets to 10,000 likes, I will do the next episode and I will do megalophobia again. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, come on, I want to see you around. Hit the subscribe button and join the group. Okay, we do this all the time. It is very fun. This huge skyscraper by artist. I'm sorry, I cannot read this. <laughs> this is really cool. This is really cool. Oh, I'm down with it. Oh, this makes me want to watch a sci-fi movie. This is so cool. Guys, recommend me a sci-fi movie where I can see something crazy like this. I guess Star Wars kind of, but I want to see something set in the real world. Robert, if it's set in the real world, then I kind of want to run. Rare jellyfish red sprite lighting found 30 to 90 kilometers in the atmosphere. Wow. That is some next level Aurora Borealis. Uh, Aurora Borealis. Is this moving or am I crazy? Okay, this is an image. I thought this was moving. That really scared me. Am I crazy? I thought that was moving. Argentavis magnificens. Literally, magnificent Argentine bird is the largest flying bird ever discovered. Holy heck. Holy heck. Does this not exist anymore? Oh, they went extinct five million years ago and they were this big. That is crazy. That's a big, that's a big bird. I, I like, like that, that bird. That, that is, is a nice bird. Nice the tallest clock tower, a brush albeit compared to Big Ben. Big Ben, he's kind of big. He's kind of big, but he's not no a brush albeit. I'll tell you that much. Oh my gosh, how dare you? Is this this must be like Dubai or something? Where is this Mecca? A Braj albeit. That is a large building. That is a large building. I ain't getting too scared though. It's not too scary. I'll keep it real with y'all. Just the largest animal to ever live on our planet coming up for air. A whale. Is this real? This looks like CGI. Is this real? How are these real creatures that exist? How are whales real? The depths below. Dare I click? Dare I click? My screen is on full brightness right now, you guys. I'm turning this down. I don't deserve to have this shoved in my face at full brightness. Ah! All right, we're on scary water stuff real quick. Ah! Oh, man, it's horrible. Mantis shrimp punches the claw off a... Cr huh? That's terrifying. Oh my gosh! Ah, this is awful! Okay, do crabs grow claws back? Each time a crab molts, it has the ability to regenerate the lost appendage. Thank goodness. That was awful! I can you believe that? We're having a variety episode here, guys. Just everything that makes me uncomfortable, all wrapped up into one. And I'm down for it, you know, I'm down for it. Let's go to the top all time, why not? The depths below, people. When something from the depths below makes its way onto land. I'm scared. Don't turn it over, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Wait! Ah! That looks computer generated! <laughs> I didn't like it. Footage from the Mariana Trench, 10,000 meters below the ocean surface. Ah! Ah! These are creatures. Ah! The Mariana Trench people. These are cre these are fish that we will never see because they live 30,000 feet below. 30,000 feet people. That's insane. The Mariana Trench is that is that is some megalophobia and that is horrifying. Giant squid makes an appearance in Tokyo Bay. Oh my gosh, giant squids. Oh, I love giant Hello. squids. Ah! No, I did not expect that. I did not expect that camera change. I don't like that. Don't just change the shot like like that on me. Whoo! So you guys know what it is. Your boy, I like squids. I think squids are cool. And they're they're an amazing, they're an amazing creature. And we've only caught them on camera a few times. Giant squids are super, super, super rare. This absolute monstrosity of a sailfish belongs here 100 percent 
Oh, oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that. It's huge. This thing is huge. Guys, if you don't realize how large this thing is, make adjust your eyes so you can realize how big this thing is. Terrifying. I think we saw this. Oh, brr, I'm getting uncomfortable. I think we saw this in one of the first uh, Thalassophobia videos. If you haven't seen Thalassophobia, here's the last episode. It didn't do very well. A lot of you guys missed it. So I will link it at the end if you forgot. I'll link it at the the end so make sure you watch that if you haven't seen it exploring a wreck but suddenly all right exploring a wreck already is terrifying because you know sub mechanophobia don't look don't look don't look oh my gosh whales people whales can you imagine can you imagine seeing a whale go by you what kind of crazy person do you have to be to do this as your job or do this period what kind of crazy person do you have to be to go underwater like that whales people no one will find you if a Listen, if you're on land and a bear attacks you, at least people might find you. If you're underwater and a whale or a shark attacks you, no human on earth will ever know. Ever. You'll just be gone, disappeared, nothing. You'll never be found. Terrifying. A massive grouper. It's world famous uh, surf bum grubby grouper. Is this the toilet? That is a giant grouper. It's grubby grouper. <laughs> Guys, this looks like a fish from your tank, but a thousand times, no, 10,000 times as large. You can probably fit 10,000 normal fish into this fish. That's how big a grouper is. Guys, I'm so glad we're still getting megalophobia, even though we're looking at the water. Later, groupies. Grubby's gotta go get some gnarly pounders. It's Grubby Grouper! <laughs> Top five largest Goliath groupers caught. Let's go! You guys have asked me many times, what's the largest Goliath grouper you've ever caught? Oh, well, today, no. we're gonna show you the top five largest Goliath groupers ever caught on Black Tip H. And starting off at number five is a 400 plus pound Goliath grouper we caught with NFL linebacker. 400 pound? Goliath grouper! That ain't the Goliath grouper. Wait, they use that fish to catch the Goliath grouper. How do you fit a 400 pound fish on that boat? Come on, man, you got it, you got it, you got it. Might be, the, might be a giant. Might be a Goliath grouper. How on earth do you get that thing onto the ship? That's a big one. That's the one you want, Sam. Okay, I want to see the biggest Goliath grouper this lad got. The biggest Goliath grouper we've ever caught on the show was with my buddy Max McKinley, and this thing. Well, Max McKinley, you're always gonna find a big grouper. Wow. Good luck not getting luck get pulled into the water, dude. Your Crocs aren't gonna save you, boss. Wow. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my god! That's a big oh grouper, bro, boss! Oh my gosh! We can't lose this fish, bro. We can't lose this. This is the biggest fish ever. This is the biggest fish ever, dude. The biggest fish ever! Ah! Oh Amazing! Gosh. I want to oh see this grouper. He's, He's bigger than the boat. He's bigger than the boat. Bigger than the boat? Look, guys, this is the this fish. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> I want to see the whole grouper. Later, groupies. Grubby's gotta go catch him. Good thing groupers are just big, slow, chonky boys. That weighs more than your boat, bro. That's a barnacle. That's a barnacle, bro. Oh, are they gonna let it go? Oh, surprise, surprise. The grouper pulled you in. The size of that fish, guys. That's a giant. That's a dinosaur. That is a dinosaur. This fish? Goliath grouper. This is a critically endangered animal. We can't, we can't keep these fish. We gotta let them go, so. He did a lot, he gave us a lot of entertainment. We're gonna pull this hook over now. Yeah, yeah, good ending. We got the good ending, thank you, boss. Yo, shout out to Black Tip H Fishing. Shout out, four million subs. Okay, you guys don't need my help, but thank you for that incredible grubby grouper footage. That was crazy. Size difference between a three meter great white and a five meter great white. Well, both not ones that I want to see when I go to the beach with my lads, okay? Is this a three meter or is this a five meter? Whoa! 
Are you sure that's three and five? Oh, that is huge. That's like why a five foot tall person and a six foot tall person look like one looks twice the size of the other. That's so strange how that works when you scale things up. Nuts. The cutest shark attack ever. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> That is adorable and terrifying. No. Why? This should not be cute, guys. Do not ever believe that sharks are cute. They genuinely are dangerous. And don't tell me that nonsense about you're more likely to get killed by a vending machine than a shark. Oh, yeah? How many vending machines do you see in your life? Oh, 100,000? How many sharks are you up close to in your life? Oh, maybe zero. That is the dumbest statistic of all time. I cannot stand when people say that to me. You're more likely to get killed by a vending machine than a, than a shark. Oh, okay. So if you can go into to two rooms, one of them is you chilling with a vending machine and one of them is you swimming with a shark. Which one are you, uh, which one would you feel safer doing? Exactly. So don't give me that nonsense, okay? Large wolf eels are curious and rarely aggressive. They're curious and rarely aggressive. They sure look aggressive. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that a donut snack? Ooh, okay, I'll have it. Thank you so much. Not many people come around with the donut snacks. What an interesting eel. They're curious and rarely aggressive, but they have they have goofy looking teeth. So they're kind of like rats, you know? The average person's like, ah, what the heck is that? But in reality, they're just a silly animal. They want love. <laughs> They want love like the rest of us, these large wolf eels. That's so interesting. That looks like a human skull. This is a crazy looking animal. Can you believe that? Can you believe that this is a real creature? Guys, the ocean is so scary. Selfie shark. Shark swallows Insta360 can. Well, I'm scared. I'm scared. This is the inside of a shark's mouth. Wow! I didn't know it was all white. Why was I under the impression that the inside of a shark's mouth was like the color of the inside of our mouths? Wow! That was kind of cool. Why was it? I think just because of how dumbly it grabbed it. I think like it just seemed so unaggressive and stupid when it grabbed the camera. It didn't, it wasn't too spooky. But look, it does the eye thing or the eyes roll up into the head. Sharks are so scary, guys. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. A terrifying comparison of the tentacles of the giant squid on the left and the colossal squid on the right. The giant squid is meant for painful latching while the colossal squid is meant for ripping apart. Whoa. What? The giant squid has the suction cups with all these little things and then the colossal squid's tentacles have teeth? They're three feet wide and filled with razor sharp teeth. What? Okay, maybe we just need to forget about the Gilgamesh for a second and focus- FORGET ABOUT THE GILGAMEX! FORGET ABOUT THE GILGAMEX! <laughs> Did you guys know that? Colossal squid tentacles have teeth? I had no idea. That's crazy! Searching for colossal and giant squid pictures is really scary, honestly. Cause like, they'll just pop up in your face and they're scary. Tentacles, tales of the giant squid. Step into reading? This book is for kids? What kind of sick parent would buy this for their kids? I would. I would. I'm the sick parent. I'm the sick parent. I would do that. I don't want my kids to be as afraid as me, so I'm gonna show them giant squids early, okay? Rising up from the murky water next to my kayak. Is it another grubby grouper? I'm scared. Oh. That's a gator, not a croc. That's a gator. I think gators are less aggressive than crocs. I think. I don't know. I don't live in Florida and I have no plan on ever doing so. Crocodiles are often regarded as much more aggressive than alligators. While you should avoid out contact with both animals at all costs, alligators in the Everglades tend to be more docile than crocodiles, only attacking if hungry or provoked. Okay, guys, alligators are the nice ones. And just so you know, an alligator is the one with the wide mouth. A crocodile is the spooky this. <laughs> Either way, these are living dinosaurs, just so you know. These things have been around for millions and millions of years. Crocodiles are dinosaurs that still exist. I hope you guys realize that. Giant crocodiles are in Sane. The Chirodectes, an incredibly large genus of box jellyfish, seen just twice. This is the only known footage to exist. The only known footage of this jellyfish. This is one creature. It's like a double jellyfish with like tentacles for things. 
That is incredible. Guys, jellyfish are amazing. Amazing. Wait, it has multiple? Does it have four? Fish swimming in the wake of a of a jellyfish. Wow. These fish are drafting off of this jellyfish. These lazy fish. These lazy fish are just drafting off the jellyfish. Guys, the ocean living in the ocean must be super weird. <laughs> and this has been quite the ocean tangent. So if you want to keep it going, here's a thalassophobia video I was talking about. This is scary, scary, scary water stuff. Check it out if you want. Or here's the last megalophobia if you missed it. Guys. Ah!